Welcome to Dallas, Texas, home of the Dallas Cowboys, Texas Rangers, Dallas Mavericks, and SMU Mustangs. You get the theme. The Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex has a rugged, Wild West pioneering history, and that heritage lives on today. The Metroplex is also home to many great industry leaders, past and present, who have laid the foundation and continue to evolve the standards we know today. Join me as we shine a light on how on-site teams are evolving inspections in this ever-changing industry. Join me as we get back to work. I'm Terry Danner, and after spending 30 years in the multifamily industry, I believe that our on-site teams are the everyday unsung heroes. They make it look easy to get hard stuff done, and are consistently working to keep our community safe. Most of the world is getting back to work after quarantine, but our on-site teams never stopped working. That's why I'm on a mission from coast to coast to find the people that are stepping up in difficult times. During this series, we're going to talk about best practices and how teams are adapting to new challenges. I may even get a little dirty along the way. So join me as we learn about the tough stuff that keeps our industry moving and celebrate the people behind it. Let's get back to work. Dallas has a strong pioneering history in the multifamily industry, led by the man himself, Trammell Crow. Trammell has spawned generations of industry leaders and a number of development and management companies that thrive today. Today I'm here with a great friend and industry leader, Ken Oldham. Ken is the executive director of the Apartment Association of Greater Dallas, and he's here to share a little bit more about what's going on in Big D. Ken, I would be remiss if I got here and didn't talk about Trammell Crow and everything that he's done for the industry. Trammell's obviously a big part of the development of the city of Dallas and other major cities across the country. and was responsible for many, many different organizations. The multifamily industry has been incredible here. We're approaching 600,000 units today AGD represents. And that's just in Dallas alone in the 11 counties we serve. So the Metroplex really is the hub of multifamily business here in Texas. So how many units does the industry need just to kind of keep pace with all the growth that's going on? Just based upon demand today, we need at least 20,000 units a year just to keep up with that growth. You know, Terry, our industry supports 428,000 jobs in the DFW Metroplex alone. Those teams are continually working to refine processes and develop procedures to keep our communities in top shape for the 1.3 million residents they serve. Well, I'm off to Atera Apartments, a BH management community, to learn a little bit more about their processes. BH has got a great team here, Terry. You'll have a great time. Hi Terry, welcome to BH's Atari Apartments. I'm Melody King, Senior Regional Vice President. Nice to meet you, Melody. Thanks for having me here today. As you know, I'm big fans of BH management uh, as our teams have worked together over the past few years to help develop the tools and processes to make your teams excel. That's absolutely right, Terry. As you know, BH is growing. We're currently the eighth largest management company in the country with over 300 properties. And with that growth, we need to make sure that our teams have the resources that they need to be successful. And I have a great team here at Aterra Apartments. I'd like to introduce you to the community manager, Jessica. Hi Terry, welcome to Aterra Apartments. Uh, I would like to introduce you to a new process that we are doing, which is our bi-monthly lighting inspection. Please meet our maintenance supervisor, Alfredo. He will show you what it takes to make this community shine bright. Okay, let's get to work. All right, let's do it. When the pandemic hit and people were really at home, we were seeing a huge influx of work orders for things like common areas, lights, you know, just things that people may overlook in the past. The lighting inspection has always kind of been a little difficult to track. And when we partnered with SitePlan to help create that platform, it gave us a documentation platform. Inspection, I had to go in and do the light check. When I do light check, if I have uh, a lot of lights out, so I have to uh, designate the work orders or I do it myself. So depending on how many lights I got out. When they uh, rolled this out, this video was distributed to all of the team members uh, on site to review? Yes. Can you show us what's in the video? The training that they have is based on how to use the tools that are available to them to actually do the inspection. But not everybody learns kind of reading documentation on how to do something. So here you've got a visual, right, which is very straightforward of how you would do the inspection, how you use the app to do it, how you close the tasks. Okay, Alfredo, so why don't we get started and look at uh, doing an actual inspection? Okay, let's start on building two. Come this way. All right, let's go here so I can show you where it's the photo cell. And you're going to have to type it up so I can, we can see which lights are out 
put the tape on the eye of the photo cell make sure that it's covered all the way so that way the light can come on. Prior to this they were probably relying on residents to report an outage or on the off chance that they were walking around in the evening that they noticed a light that was out. See like right now the lights are on but see this light is off. Okay. So that means that that light bulb is out. Pull it up. People feel safer whenever the, all the lights are working and good, you know, because even if it's just one light bulb, it's hard because it's dark. Okay. What do you think, Alfredo? Good. You gonna good. hire me? Yeah, you, you're gonna get hired. You're doing pretty good. <laughs> Bridge boys are good. Check the third floor. It's still get you some exercise during the day. <laughs> it was definitely hot, but welcome to Dallas in the summertime. <laughs> That's okay, we can get a frozen margarita later. We'll be fine. Okay, Terry, there's a resident on Building 9 that has complained about a light out. So let's go get the ladder so we can replace that. Let's get the ladder up. You're gonna spot me, right? Yeah. My life is in your hands, Alfredo. You'll be fine. Yeah, ladders don't give me any problems at all. I'm not afraid of heights. Okay, Alfredo, let's test this light, see if it's working. Let there be light. Okay, Alfredo, we got it. Okay, now we just gonna close the work order. It's time to close the task. Okay. Okay. Alfredo, he's the go-getter. He's the type that there's no challenge for him. Like he's gonna get it done. I, I don't know how to describe it. He's one of a kind. I know we all adore him and love him, and I can genuinely say that. Alfredo, thank you very much for showing us the new inspection process today and showing me and working, not working me too hard. <laughs> but it's, it's, thank you. it's extremely important, right? In today's environment with uh, everything going on, not to take care of just the work orders, but all these inspection programs which are important to the residents. And obviously, uh, you know, you shine, the lights shine here now, so everything's looking good. So thank you for a great day. And I have some friends here who also want to recognize you. Okay. So Grace Hill first. Hey, Hi, nice Alfredo. Nice to meet you. I'm Chris <laughs> Ann with Grace Hill, and I'm really honored to be here with you today to celebrate you and all that you do for this community and for BH management. And on behalf of Grace Hill, I'd like to present you with this scholarship to get your CAM tea. Okay, Just to see him accept the award was making everybody very teary. I know it made him because he deserves it. John Olmstead, HD Supply. Yeah, as, as you know, with HD Supply, we're dedicated to providing you the service, the product, and the resources you need to be successful. But today we're here to celebrate your success. So okay, thank you. On behalf of HD Supply and our team, we want to present you this uh, DeWalt kit as a token of our thanks. Uh, thank you. I'm real happy, actually. <laughs> I'm always trying to get along with everybody. Do you have to like what you do, and I love what I do, and I think that's why I've been good in, on this business. Team Matera, hey, congratulations on the Back to Work Spotlight with Terry Danner. This is pretty exciting because you guys are among the best here at BH. Jessica and Alfredo, you've made a really great service team for our residents. Alfredo, I'm really excited that you get to show your stuff because no one takes better care of a property than you do. You treat Aterra as if it's your own home with all kinds of service for our residents and you've built a great team. So thanks for doing this. Thanks for making BH shine. Congratulations. Alfredo is a really great guy. He embraces change. He believes that this is his home and he treats it like it's his. And that's something that you can't teach. And so when we have people who have that mentality, we want to make them feel special and we want to do everything that we can to enhance the opportunity for them. What an amazing day in Dallas with our friends at BH Management. The team at Aterra shows us just how important it is to shine light on every detail in an inspection. On behalf of the industry, thanks to all of those who consistently step up 
and get the work done in keeping our community shining bright. Join us next time as we get back to work. Is home to, no. I know, I know, I, I know it. <laughs> History of multifamily leadership. I can't even say multifamily anymore. <laughs> to develop the uh, tools uh, for your. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Terry. Welcome to BH as a Terra Apartments. Thanks. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Terry. Welcome to BH's. <laughs> Good. You make me feel better. <laughs>